only the world didn't know you were a legend, huh? Tired of you, your deeds, your wars, your car, your monster king. Welcome back to Let's Play Mad Max. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, I'm back here in Finger Peak. Where I spent a lot of time wandering in dazed circles because I hadn't found where this leads. This is right about the spot where I jabbed that guy with a random thunder stick I found lying around. Awesomeness. Well, would you look at that? Son of a bitch. It's all right here. Awesome. Getting things done. Speaking of getting things done, we also found this, uh, new body, the furnace for the magnum opus. This thing is really starting to look. a deadly wasteland chariot of annihilation. And I'm really, really into that. <laughs> Let me see. So I just enough of the missions to disappear. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, so it's that, but over there. Oh, jeez. I, uh, just showed up trying to get over here, and all of a sudden everything's already going to hell. I do like those little sparkles that appear in the air after you pull one of those towers down. <laughs> I like that there's just a bully sitting right there. Aw, oh, jeez. Oh, for fu- God damn it. Man. It's almost like they've reacted to the last couple camps I took down. Stink gum seems like the sort to take that personally. How the fuck am I going to get in there? It's pretty, but I haven't the slightest idea how I'm going to...
I don't think they're going to be happy about that. If I had to wager a guess. I wonder what this bridge is made out of that it didn't just immediately burn away. Like, these look like rope to me. I suppose it could be like industrial cables or something. Man, we just got here. I dig the music, though. Would you like your arm broken, too? Come on, then. Oh. No time, that was bad. Come on. That's better. I oh, could have stabbed someone. Fine, let's shank someone and then do a backtrack. Effective. If nothing else. Let's just go up here first. Keeping my eyes up on both sides of the uh, path. Man, you assholes. I could have invested that. In blowing someone's head off. Why well, can't I? God damn it. Ooh. Ooh. Dangerous. No. I want to see if I could throw that, but no. This is where I came in. God damn it. Can I already be lost? What's that? Oh, hell. Oh. Shout out to Yornick, who forever ago left a great comment suggesting, uh, the number one hit of a war crier is their uh, whimsical song, Get Me the Fuck Down From Here, You Assholes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you know what? Everybody just gets to die. Stab me. All right, you. I admit that was a bit sloppy, but I got things to do, people to kill. I can't let you purple assholes stand in the way. There gotta be water around here somewhere. Uh, no, can't hit him there. Well, you shouldn't have fallen down then, you moron. Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, I like that a lot. Instantly kill the guy if he has a knife. Ah, oh, I tried to charge up a punch on that guy. Damn it! Hey. 
Oh, sloppy. Inexcusable. It's flailing in the air. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. No. Better. For they are on the ground, and I am not. Well, it always weirds me out when the light does that on its own without him touching it. I mean, I told it to do that. It's still weird. Oh, fucking A. Oh, that's really convenient. Bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, I've also got to cap to something. <laughs> there was a moment in the previous session I was mystified that explosions weren't opening a door because I was misreading it as uh, explosion required instead of explosion restricted. Just baffled when it didn't work with uh, explosions tonight. What the fuck? Are they just T posing? Are they doing yoga? Well, let me go in and say hi. Glad you scrolled all the way down to the ground, camera, but uh maybe don't do it just then. Ooh. If one wall place blow, you cleave his skull. Me to smash something in his face. Oh, your friend is dead all the same. Oh, you hate to see it happen. Brained. That went much better. Every objective measurement. How am I doing? 27 out of 32. I'm doing great! Still need to find all the gubbins, of course. Fuck me, where do I even look? Is that a road? Can I get down there? I like this camp. I mean, these idiots would be falling to their death constantly, but it's really cool looking. Oh no, I have been here. Wait. Wasn't there a knife left just over here? I think it was Vencer's prodigy who commented on, uh... The idea that the heads of these weapons are probably fine, it's the, the uh, handles that are a problem. S since, uh... I don't know if you noticed, but judging from the uh, environment around here, you're unlikely to find any wood that isn't very, very old, and thus very, very fragile. Like, I bet I could fall through that if I wanted to. I don't. I'm just saying. Oh, 
do have the full canteen. I should probably heal. When I think about this game, uh, the song Horse With No Name plays in my head. Sometimes it does say explosion required. And apparently there are doors that are, you know, just randomly immune to explosions or harpoons or whatever. Don't mind if I do. I'm sure Gut Gash will be happy about that. In universe, I'm kind of surprised Gut Gash would even bother with the thing, because his official story is that soon they won't need to care about what the land around here looks like, because it will be buried under the ocean. Maybe if Gut Gash handles it personally, or keeps it on the quiet. I do need this. Oh, sweet. idiotic sense of direction finally worked in my favor. <laughs> oh, good. I was just about to say, now if I could just remember where that goddamn door was. It's like leaving a burning bag of poop by someone's door. If you're a psychopath. Oh! The fucking... Oh, it was over here. Okay. Probably only got one or two hits left in it, but it's still one or two hits that aren't going to be with my fists. Reminds me. Did I upgrade everything here? Or just look at everything? Oopsie. Fair. if it would be legal if you built a car entirely out of original parts. Like today, I mean. Is there a law that's... I guess it has to pass, uh... like, uh, emissions uh, tests before it's uh, street legal. It doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, because I'd been holding the thing the whole time. Right, okay. So to ask why he chose just then to do that. Alright, doing pretty well so far. Well, there's a man. I need him to be dead. I wonder if I can sneak up on him and break his neck. I didn't even know that was a thing he could do until I did it for the first time. Right! Oh, okay, okay. The flies around these things, and the fact that they're that color, makes me wonder if they're, like, filled with pee or something. Oh, hey, Chum. Why does the camera want to study this wall so intently? Okay, fine. Yep, it's very wall-like. Satisfying one. Fuck. Down you go. Oh, couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Oh, fuck. He turned around real quick.
Ahem, I said, fall down. You know, I've said it before, but given what these guys are like... I'm really surprised there have been so few references to cannibalism. I think there was, like, one? And it might have just been, uh... Stank gum? Thinking about how the shotgun just keeps adding barrels instead of, you know, just being a better shotgun. Uh... Oh. Oh, that's very clever. <laughs> I was standing too close to the other one. I am a fool. I don't know why I thought the wall... You know, there being a wall there would stop that. Stupid laws of physics. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking with my brain and not with video game logic. Oh. Shit. Low on shells. Okay, three more scrap, three more insignias. Well, there's one of the insignias. I don't think this is where I meant to go. Can I get up there? Oh, for fuck's sake, camera. You have a very strange idea of what I want to be looking at at any given time. I don't know how to get a good angle on that. If I stand... Okay, that's better. I am now completely out of shotgun ammo. I'm also completely out of time, because there is the timer. So I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Mad Max. We clear this place out, and head off to do something else. Later.